Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel where we tour exceptional things. Today we're in the Gorafe Desert in Granada and we have this stealth looking, 100% autonomous and self-sufficient pod from District Hive to show you. Let's go! Smash that like button if you enjoyed the detailed shots. Ladies and gentlemen, it is such a huge pleasure to show you the Portel made by District Hive, a concept that's revolutionizing the tourism industry. Why am I saying that? It's 100% self-sufficient. It creates its own water from ambient air and humidity. It creates its own electricity. There is no waste, there are no pipes. This pod sits on six legs. And tomorrow, if you want, you pick it up, and you take it elsewhere, and no trace shall be left here. It couldn't be any more minimalistic. It really suits well into the whole environment. Because the environment is so much giving that you need something more simple, which calms you down. That's the like whole that. concept actually behind the pot tails from District Hive, is to actually put it into the most remote and diverse areas where you're just simply surrounded by nature and that's I think why you would really like this because you love nature huh? yes and Moho architects have actually created the design of this one and it's super stealth and I think we should maybe show our audience what it looks like from inside what do you think yes and also look at these big windows yeah picture windows yeah reflecting which is pretty cool because at first I thought oh my god they will be you know seeing me from inside but in the end, you just see yourself from the outside. So this is me, Patrick. Hi, guys. It's me, Luigi. Yeah, cool, cool. Right, awesome. Should we enter? Yeah, we should hit inside. Let's do it. Welcome, guys, inside the pod. We have 30 square meters of utilized space to the max, starting off with the kitchen island, with the induction. We also have the stools here should we pull them out now patrick real quick for yes, everyone to know this is where patrick and i had a super romantic dinner as the sun was setting behind the rolling mountains patrick told me how much he loves me and how much he likes to work with me and for that he also made me a sandwich with cheese and salami whilst i got my, to my big uh, cooking skills Patrick's i had the amazing. opportunity to show yeah. that in full detail. Now you've probably seen that as well in the detail shot. Yeah, it was an amazing sandwich specifically because the views here were incredible at night and also as the sun was setting. So, wow, very much enjoyed it. I'll explain you guys later why we had a sandwich and not something else. Because we are literally in the desert and Gorafe is a little village close by which only had a tiny little supermarket which only sold essentials basically so if you do come to the pod buy yourself food elsewhere induction microwave yes you also have an air conditioning system everything's manually stirred through the application created by district hive so this is a hundred percent autonomous as i said before and yeah ai controlled alexa go to sleep this was super scary it's the first time we ever had contact with alexa and suddenly she started talking to us and playing music although i didn't really want her to do it. We have a one sink vanity here, an espresso coffee machine. So yeah, if you're a coffee fan like us, you can fill yourself up free, by the way, which is super nice. Cupboard spaces for bowls and toasters. Everything is here. Now, there we have the bathroom that we're gonna be showing you at a later stage. Let me show you the living room, come on. The German company that did the interior have really done a fantastic job. Everything's compartmentalized, it's such a difficult word. Clean, stylish, utile, like the sitting area where we spent quite some time just immersing, immersing? Emerging, immersing. To immerse, we were immersing, I think that's the word. The picturette view that we have here, the entire front facade's made out of glass zero frames and you just observe the beauty that unfolds outside it's really nice and if you're a fan of nature this is the place you'd probably sit just to be in awe you have luminosity coming from both window fronts this big picture window also brings the setting sun into this room which creates a nice play of color didn't it patrick 
Yes, it did. It did. Cupboard space is here. What comes complementary for your use in this pod is also a... Kimono. Kimono. We didn't try it on because Patrick's huge. I don't know if it's gonna fit. Slippers, obviously, and a lot of storage space for you to put your things. And of course, if you come here, four people, two of them would sleep there, and two of them would pull out this bed, which fully pulls out. Obviously, you would move this cushion, and you would have space here for another two people. But Patrick and I decided to sleep together in the snug niche area there. Let's explore it real quick. Look how cute this is. We lied here ah, like this and we have that view. And I must say at night, the stars were coming out and you had an amazing view of the stars from bed. How epic was that, Patrick? Yes, indeed it was. Patrick fell asleep really quickly. I couldn't fall asleep. I was so. tired. Yeah. Somebody has to work here. Anyways, I had more time to appreciate the stars. We saw Starlink as well. I'll explain that later outside, which was just mesmerizing. We have plugs here for your UBS, UBC, also uh, for your electrical appliances, switches for the light. Generally speaking, this is more nudged in, so it's much more cozier than there. And you kind of feel like you're in the theater looking out to the play of nature. And we also have more storage space here which you can pull out like this. Damn, look how much storage space you have. We have a friend, he's not the tallest. I think he could lie there and we could close it and we could have another friend sleep with us here. Yes, I mean Secretly. you. Secretly. I mean you, Olivia. <laughs> All right, guys, now off to the fun part, which is the shower and toilet. So let's go. As I said, everything is 100% sustainable. So there's a lot to talk about regarding the shower. So let's explore the shower together first because there is a machine that creates from the ambient air and humidity water for you to use in this pod up to 250 liters a day. So obviously you can shower, it heats up the water. This one uses one liter per minute, which is also super efficient and the water gets filtered and reused for irrigation and other things. So even the gray water is being filtered and reused. I must be surprised if it makes so much water because you know out here it's actually quite a dry area. We're in a desert, 250 liters is quite a lot, huh? Yes, it is. Think about it. We bought five liters to drink for two days. It's eight. Eight it's, liters it's to drink. Eight, it's eight. Anyways, but to put it into perspective, it's a lot. One thing, vanity here. Also, the water here gets recycled and reused. So the entire gray water of the pot, that's what I mean, sustainability and no carbon footprint is the concept behind District Hive, putting in diverse locations. I've already said that, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, and I also like the mirrors in both ends of the pod. Yeah. Also above, reflecting sunlight and also giving you more like the feeling of dimensions, 100%. more space. And you can see me. Hello. Yeah, for those who aren't, aren't the Maro gang or new to the channel, Patrick, Dominic, subscribe to our channel. We do really cool things. Like this District Hive pod tell first of its kind with a drum roll toilet that burns your waste poop, poop. <laughs> it burns your, your poop. feces so basically how it works you have an entire instruction that's what you get so you need to go step by step it's not difficult but you do have to read it you open the lid right once it's open you take one of these how did you call this, Patrick? It looks like a coffee filter. Yeah, it doesn't filter your coffee, but you put it into the toilet and then you do business as usual. Once you're done, you close the lid, you press the button and it burns it. And only ashes remain. Apparently just a teaspoon. Yeah, just a teen, well, for you it'd be a ball, but let's not get into that. Patrick also sent a video to our family chat saying, look, I'm using a toilet with a view which is quite funny. We're not gonna use that video in our tour because it's very private. But when you sit there and you look outwards that way, you have a breathtaking view. So how was your experience, Patrick? Let me close it so that you can talk to the audience. Mesmerizing. <laughs> it really helped to relax. I can imagine. I still didn't get to that stage, but careful, pillar. As I said, you have full-on glass facade looking outwards, a wine cooler as well. 
So this pot is so functional and utile and yeah, it offers everything you need and it's sustainable. Now let's check out the outer area and yeah, talk a little bit more on how we experienced it. So let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, how slick and awesome is this facade? Now it's also a reflecting glass. So you've probably seen that in the drone shots as well. It reflects everything that happens there and you cannot look inside. Here is where the sleeping pot was from where I was observing of the stars that appeared at the night sky. But before we went to sleep, come a bit closer. And this suspended installation, you have bean bags. And Patrick and I, we came here. Yes, we opened a refreshment drink. I'm not gonna say what it is, <laughs> beer. And we lied here, just eating chips and observing the beauty that was unfolding. And this is also optimal for me to be again in a shot. Welcome. Yeah, guys, how cool is this? Boom. Now let's talk about, about our experience seeing Starlink. That was epic. We were just looking at the sky and suddenly I was like, dude, what is this? It looked like 20 shooting stars one after another. So I was like, this is insane. And then Patrick cleared me up and told me that's Starlink. And yeah, pretty damn awesome. Now you also have an outdoor shower here, ladies and gentlemen. When it gets hot here, we are in the desert of Gorafe. Come out nude, naked, be immersed in the environment and nature. Shower, get nice and clean. You know, the business. We also have a flotation tank, which is pretty cool. It has Epsom salt in it. And when you lie there, you basically float and it's kind of anti-gravitational, which is pretty sweet right there. And yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's basically it of the pod. Our experience was awesome. I recommend it for everyone. In the description box, we have all the contact details of District Hive. You can contact them, you can book your stay and also download the app to come and experience this. And I have to say, it is amazing. And because we are so far from everything, we're so isolated, right? The night sky is insane. We saw Milky Way. Jupiter last night was humongous and our experience was just fantastic. Patrick, you have to say something now to our dear audience and basically say goodbye to them whilst I immerse myself into this beauty of a view. All right, so thank you very much again for tuning in. It was a pleasure looking at the hive again with the reflecting mirrors, an amazing piece of art standing here in the desert. Thank, thank you very much, Dominic, for this wonderful presentation oh. and for the time we have spent here. Patrick, you're so this polite today. Thank you for this. And yeah, we hope to shoot more of, you know, unique kind of things like I that. I mean, if you just look at it, it looks so alienated. It means it doesn't, it's not supposed to be there, yet it blends in. At night you feel like you're an astronaut well on a different pa planet because it, it does look very unique here. And it's completely dark around you. You only have the light sources from the pod. So, you know, you can just see as far as the light goes. Yeah. Um, especially at night when you wake up and you look outside, there's nothing, just a few little lights. It feels very, very distant to anything around you. And just to bring back the concept of District Hive, I think you nailed it. It is exactly this. They're trying to revolutionize the hotel, basically, tourism industry yeah, by I mean, bringing you to such Airbnb, remote areas right? so it's guys sort of the thing good job we enjoyed it ciao for you to be to for you to see wo soll ich denn stehen so